You may remember Chris Swaggy Baker, the former Washington defensive tackle. He was known for his hits uh, and was never too shy to show off his dance moves on and off the field. Well, Baker recently shared on his Instagram story he's recovering after suffering from a stroke that he says almost cost him his life. Baker is only 35 years old. His mother uh, uh, says that the doctors are saying Baker is responding as if it were, if it were minor and he's expected to make a full recovery, calling it a miracle. Now, this is Mystic star Ariel Atkins. Here's Ariel when she was a little kid. And it was during this age that other basketball players set the foundation for her to become an NBA star. And now she's looking to do the same for others. Ariel Atkins always dreamt about playing in the WNBA. Atkins has been out of control for Washington. <laughs> now she's a two-time WNBA All-Star, WNBA champion, and an Olympic gold medalist, and ready to help those who have the same dreams. I was nervous about being a coach, but I think at the end of the day, the experiences that I've had and the people that has really helped me, I just know that I can let them pour out of me. Ariel recently traveled to Mexico to help Latin American, Caribbean, and Canadian high school age basketball players. The way they look at you and they're like, teach me. And I'm like, oh my God, okay, so let me figure out what I got inside that I can really just pull out. It's part of the NBA Academy Women's Program that features academies in Australia, India, Mexico, and Senegal. I love this game and I enjoy it. It's fun for me, like it's recess for me. I could play basketball all day and I want them to have that same love. And if they do have that same love, I'd love to give them everything that I can so that they can go as far as they want to go. What do you hope to learn about yourself? I was nervous about being a coach, but I think at the end of the day, the experiences that I've had and the people that has really helped me, I just know that I can let them pour out of me. Remember the moment I was where they were at and try to not only see it from that, that perspective, but from the perspective of my mentors that I had at that time. Now, they've only been doing this for three years and already 10 former Latin America camp participants have committed to go on or to attend a Division One school in the United States. So the work that Ariel Atkins is doing, you guys, uh, is paying off. Paying yeah, off for her and mm -hmm. paying off for the generations of basketballs and leaders to come, right? That's Absolutely. Right. Yeah.